Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. <laughs> I have Wellington. He's my baby. Apparently he wants to be in the videos too. All right, so today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you and I'm wearing a new shirt my aunt sent me from Texas. Um, it is a Zeke Elliott and he, if you don't know, was a Buckeye and now he plays for the Cowboys. Hence my shirt. I don't think of this as a cowboy shirt. I think of it as a postseason Buckeye shirt. Because I do root for the New England Patriots. I lived in New England for years and that's my professional team, in case you wanted to know. All right, I have a Dollar Tree haul and it's a decent sized one. Um, kind of a hodgepodge of stuff, some craft stuff and some things I'll show you. So let's get to it. First, I bought a pack of these. It's a two pack, they're chopping mats. You can chop on them. Um, I'm gonna use these, I use them in my craft room for painting and you're gonna see why in a minute, but I like these because I can get paint on it and I don't really care. So I grabbed two, a pack of those. Um, for some cleaning cloths, I grabbed some of these and this is the um, Scrub Buddies brand. I really liked the Clorox brand, but they were out. Um, but the reason I enjoy these, I have a stainless steel refrigerator and these are lint free. So I like to clean it with something like this. And honestly, I use plain water. I don't really, I, I do have a stainless steel cleaner that I'll use on occasion. I don't like the film that it leaves. It's like kind of oily and I don't love it, but I do use it on occasion, but mostly I just use water. Um, this is actually from the Target dollar spot in their school section. Um, they're just little plastic things. And hold on, I'll show you the other one I got. So this is what they look like. And this is a different shape. Um, but what I'm going to use these for are my knitting supplies. So here's the needle and thread. I've got a darning needle in here. Some extra buttons for a sweater I'm making. This is a tape measure. So I lose all my material all my extras um, from my knitting because they end up in all these bags so I'm trying to keep organized so I grabbed one of each size for like stitch markers and things and then I can keep everything together but that was one dollar at the Target dollar spot okay then I picked up from my bullet journal or planner some of these just to mark pages um, they're note flags, but I liked them. So I grabbed them because I like to mark the page or if I have something special coming up, I like to mark it. Um, I grabbed some of these napkins. Look how delicious these are. They're so retro. I love it. Um, so I grabbed some napkins. I grabbed a white picture frame. Um, I don't think I've really ever seen this one before, but there's a reason for it my team so i'm on a large team for my bank but my team at my building had a picture got our pictures taken for our pelotonia weekend and that's the team at my bank and so i want to put it in a frame and i want to put um pelotonia 2019 something like that on it and if it works I'm gonna go buy some more and gift my team because there was six of us in my building. So that's what that is for. And like I said, if it works, that's perfect. Um, then I picked up, and yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I opened up a box. I don't care, I needed these pens. These are my absolute favorite, reasonably priced planner pens. They are um, 0.5 millimeter felt tip and they write amazing and they don't bleed through I always buy the black and then I saw the different colors so they have red green blue and a pack of purple orange and pink and I love them for writing like they're just nice and fine to write things or I use the black to outline everything and then the colors to write with and so I saw them and I knew I needed some more so I grabbed them while they were there because the boxes come like most things with a gazillion in black and like two or three in the color so i just grabbed the ones i wanted no no harm no foul 
Wait till you see what I found. The shopping bag with the cats. And it's just plain red on the side. I'm getting ready to go through my shopping bags and get rid of some older ones. So I needed that. And I found the black and white buffalo check. This is what I'm doing my house for Thanksgiving and fall. Just the black on the side. And I got a red one for Christmas. And that also is just plain black. And this is my Christmas pattern. And yes, you can do it year round. And I love the fabric, but I like, I also like that it's special for the holidays. So I grabbed those and actually I got an extra one in the black and white. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm thinking cutting it and making some type of a craft. Like I could even make a placemat out of these or something or a smaller bag, but we'll see. So I grabbed an extra in the black and white. Buffalo check. I love those bags for grocery shopping and all the things. Um, I grabbed a second frame also to try to see if I like this frame better or the white frame. Same picture. This one just has a um, matting that I can put the Pelotonia 2019 on the mat and put, you know, Team CS CCSA Gateway. Something of that nature. So we'll see. That'll be cricketing later. I found some more pillowcases. Apparently I'm obsessed. This brand is Luxury Home, two pillowcases, 20 by 30. They feel a little different. I'm a little confused on this one. That side, and I'm thinking maybe I know why, because look at this side. I don't know if it's on purpose or if the printing just stopped. I don't know. But they feel nice. Yeah, I think there was a printing issue on that with the Paisley, but whatever. And then there's this one as well. And these are kind of narrow. So I don't know. I'll wash them up and see. If they don't fit, they don't fit. But there's also like coloration differences on these. So I'm wondering if these are seconds and there is no way a full pillow is gonna fit in this one. No way in heck, a full size pillow. But I can cut it down and make like a decorative pillow out of them because I sew. Yeah, see, oh wow. These are seconds because look at the size difference. So I would just be cautious when you buy this brand. I mean, it's not a big deal. I really like this fabric and the Paisley. And I will tell you, these are two separate fabrics. This feels like microfiber. This feels like cotton, but we'll see. I can use them for crafting purposes. And if not, they were a dollar. I'm not that concerned. I purchased two bags of this Excelsior for some fall de decorating. Um, thinking my wreath, because I feel like this looks very scarecrow, but we'll see. Because I also got this for a wreath for my front door to use with the scarecrow, so I'm not sure which direction. And I could even wrap a little Excelsior in here. Hi. Or not. Um, but I just picked it up because I'm, I'm forever crafting. I'm not worried about that too much. I believe I have these still from last year, but I wasn't sure, but it's thankful harvest. Welcome. The little metal sides. I really wish they would have come out with some at Christmas time, like bless joy, believe. And maybe they did. And I just didn't get them at my store. I don't know. But so I grabbed these metal letters. I got some candy for my coworker, but I forgot to use it for her. So that's okay. I'll take it to work and give it away. Then I found, I went back and I got another pack of the maple leaves. I purchased two packs of the pumpkins and one of the owls to do my fall garland. And I'm gonna paint these, hence the, that's why I got the um, placemat or the cutting boards, because these are gonna be kind of messy to paint or stain. So this is gonna be my theme 
for the fall garland. If I can find acorns, oh, I will be thrilled. I don't know if they have them or not. I haven't seen them, but I'll look. So for my fall garland for my mantle, it's going to lay on my mantle. I grabbed these. So I have two packs of two packs of the leaves, two packs of the pumpkin, and one package of owls for that. And then what I'm going to do is do like a rope type thing attach all of these and then it's going to with some leaves and stuff and it's going to lay on my mantle and these will be included i know crazy right finally i found the white ones i feel like i have some left from last year but i'm not 100 percent sure so at my store they were just putting them out so i grabbed four packages of these and these are going on my mantle too this fall um in the garland with the wooden and these will probably be more stained or whitewashed than painted but we'll see i'll show you i'll bring you along when i make that garland so here's the other two i grabbed the last four that they had at my store they had tons of orange but i really wanted them in white and if i remember correctly from last year these clips are pretty good and i'll just clip them on the rope and then the last fall item I picked up and these are so messy but I got two of these bales of hay for my mantle or to take to work but probably my mantle because they are kind of messy so I'd rather the mess stay home than take to work um so I have two of these to sit on my mantle to put my pumpkins on because that's important right and then lastly I decided if I'm going to do a fall garland I better do a Halloween one as well so I picked up a pack of black cats, duh, the ghosts, the witch's hats, I love these, and the pumpkins. And I think I'll do orange, purple, white, and black. And then these will hang somewhere in some type of a garland. I don't know yet, maybe with some lights. I'm not sure, but I grabbed one of each of these to paint. And these will probably get painted, not whitewashed most likely um but that's plenty to do a little halloween garland i don't do a lot for halloween i like to call it following so i decorate for fall and september and then when halloween comes around i throw some halloween stuff up over the fall stuff and then in november i take down the halloween and i add more thanksgiving type decor but still leaving the fall up so between september and november it's Halloween's giving there I coined a phrase following giving <laughs> and then on Thanksgiving it all gets put away and I bring out Christmas and that is quite the ordeal all right well there's my Dollar Tree haul I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna have some DIYs up real soon and for those of you that won um, the cardly I'm so sorry they will get out in the mail my life has just been a little crazy lately um, but I will get those out in the mail hopefully this weekend all right everybody if you would like subscribe and comment below because that helps out our channel and it helps us grow and that's what we want more people I'm hoping to hit 5,000 here in the next few months and we're gonna have a fun giveaway for that um, but till next time, bye. Talk to you later.